Hey, what's up guys? And today, I'm going to show how to install Windows XP Professional at 64 Edition in VMware. Let's go. So, first, download VMware Workstation 16 Pro or VMware Workstation 16 Player. And then, make sure you have a Windows XP Professional 64-bit ISO, ISO or other. As you can see, I downloaded it. Then, now, open VMware Workstation 16 Pro. And then, now, click Create a New Virtual Machine. Then select typical, then click on next, then click I will install the operating system later, then click next, then select Microsoft Windows and it says Windows XP for Professional X64 Edition, then click on next, then enter, enter your virtual machine name, so I'll leave it as Windows XP Professional X64 Edition, then now, then now click on next, then put, put the maximum disk size to 500 gigs, I recommend 500 gigs. Then now click on next, then click on finish, and then now click edit virtual machine settings. Now put the memory for this virtual machine to 4 gigs. Then select CD, DVD, then click size image file, then navigate to where your ISO file stored. Then select your never, never adapter, so I'll just bridge. Then now click on OK. Then now power on the virtual machine. As you can see now, uh, you will wait until you see then, and then you see then. Uh, wait for it. Then I'll press enter to continue. Then I'll press F8 to agree. Then I'll press C to create partition or just press enter to install so I'll just I'll now create partition anyway so now press enter to install or uh, just I'll just I'll just uh, the different I uh, select the different partition for Windows I'll just this one and then now the setup is going to format as you can see so you just have to wait Anyways, I did a tutorial. I did a tutorial on how to install Windows 11 in VMware. Uh, as you can see, so so now you can see. So now we're we're installing Windows XP Professional 64 uh, 64 edition in VMware. So anyway, so just have to wait. And anyway, so I hope my phone doesn't drain very quick. Also, it's gonna. It's going to the setup is going to copy files so as you can see so this might take several minutes to continue uh, to complete so as you can see so anyway so the setup will copy files very quick and anyway so just have to wait then now press enter to restart your computer or just wait for it to restart uh, so I'll press enter to restart the computer Anyway, so that means press enter re to restart the VM as you can see. So now it's going to start now as you can see. You can see also it puts a very quick lol by the way. Um, by the way, so it's going to install Windows now and then, they, and then you can see so you just have to wait. Then now select the regional language op options. So, so to change these settings, quick customize. So Click customize. Then I'll just an uh, item. So I'll just I'll just this one. Then now location. Then I'll just this one. Then I'll click on apply. Then click on OK. Um. Yeah. Okay. Then. Then I'll click on next. Then enter your name. Then now click on next. Then now enter product key. So I don't want you all guys to look at my product key. To look at the product key. So I'll be right back when I enter the product key. And there you go. So now type an administrator password. So I'll type an administrator password. And again, I don't want you all guys to look at my pa the administrator password. So I'll be so I'll and so I'll type an administrator password. So I'll be right back. And there you go. So now, then now, just a date and time. So I'll just this one. Yeah. Then now click on next. 
then it's going to stall now. So also, also choose whatever these are typical or custom settings. So I'll leave it as typical settings. Then I'll click on next. Then um, I'll choose this one. Then click on next. Then it's going to continue installing Windows. So anyway, so so you just have uh, so you just have to wait. And also, it's going to complete installation. And as you can see, so so anyway, so you just have to wait. Okay, so it's going to save settings, and also it's going to finalize installation. You can see it's finalizing installation, and after that, the VM will restart. And then you can see. So, anyways. I'll be right back when when it's finalized installation and and as you can see so the VM is going to restart to, to continue the setup as you can see so so it's it's finalized installation it's finished installing so as you can see so uh, excuse me <clears throat> And also the VM is, is restarting to continue so as you can see so so anyway so let's see then all right so now it's going to apply computer settings so as you can see and after that we're gonna install VMware tools so it can work properly right and you can see so so anyway so uh, le um, uh, so let's type Let's enter the password and again I don't want you all guys to look at my password so I'll be right back all right so now so it's applying the personal settings and there you go then now you can see the computer might be a risk might be exiting this no and you can see so now now we're gonna install VMware tools. So move the mouse right here. Then click on workstation, the VM. Then now, so then now we're gonna install VMware tools. Then let's see then. Then now, uh, it's going to prepare VMware tools for installation. So as you can see, so. So let's see then, and also it's finally installed, there it goes, as you can see, and by the way, so, so it's preparing to install, so as you can see, so, then now, so, click on next, then select the setup type, so I'll choose, uh, so just typical, complete, or custom. So I'll choose typical, so now, then I'll click on next. Then I'll click on install. So it's going to install VMware tools now, so as you can see. So I'll be right back when the VMware tools is installed. And there you go, so now VMware tools is installed. Then I'll click on finish. Then now, now it's going to ask you to restart the computer. Um, the... The speaker is so weird, and I don't know why. So now the VM is going to restart. So as you can see, so now, so I'll be right back when it's restarted. And there you go. So now, now let's enter the password. And again, I don't want you all guys to look at my password. So I'll enter the password, and I'll be right back. And there you go. And you can see so. So, uh, also, also, um, you can see, so ignore the bad speaker. Now, let's, uh, let's, let's click on that to, to see then. And there you go. So now, now it's installed. So now we're going to move this to here. By the way. And, and that's it. So. So that's how you install Windows XP Professional X64 Edition in VMware. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe.
And please like comment down below. And please start to manipulate my channel. Don't uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't steal my video and don't give me copyright strikes. Okay, bye. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye.